Let's do connections. We're finding four groups of four. We have a super balloon stick. That's a uh, swell. Domino Jack has a neat uber. Hyper Snowball Marble Clean and Tidy Ultra Mushroom Trim. Hmm. I feel like Mushroom is a bit out there. And I'm noticing how Balloon has a bunch of double letters. Mushroom has a double letter. Snowball has a double letter. I don't know if they do that. Swell has a double letter. Like, if if we're desperate, we'll put these four together. But I'm not going to start out that way. Um, but mush what else would Mushroom be? I mean, it's an ingredient. It's a fungus. Uh something you would get in uh mario hmm i'm really not sure what else it's got the word room in it you never know um okay how about tidy i feel like tidy and clean and neat are just gonna go together hmm trim maybe trim can mean that is there anything that means that more honestly i don't see it so let's give that a try there we go Orderly. Okay. Um, we got super, we got ultra, we got uber, we got hyper. I mean, yeah, I mean, <laughs> that's straightforward. Yeah. Uh, augmentative prefixes. I was about to say, these are all augmentative prefixes. Uh, so yeah, that's probably the, the green. All right. Um, <laughs> let's see. Uh, I mean, we still have our double letter theory going strong but what would jack domino stick and marble be okay well i mean i feel like jacks and marbles and dominoes are games with the s removed they're all kind of similar-ish games too and that, that you have I don't know, similar enough <laughs> small pieces it's just a, a bunch of small pieces that make up a game is mushrooms or snowballs or swells or okay well okay so balloon and swell and mushroom all mean to get bigger so does snowball so I'm guessing maybe pickup sticks would be the game. Items in classic kids games. There, okay. I was basically on the right track with that, and then this just means get bigger. Become larger. They they had to they had to pick different words. They couldn't have just been get bigger. All right. Interesting. Yeah, this was pretty straightforward to be honest. I didn't really see any red herrings. Maybe I missed it. Maybe there was a super red herring that I missed other than the double letter thing, which you know, you know what's really funny? If I had just said all of these had double letters, and it would have been correct. <laughs> that's that's actually <coughs> that's actually really amusing. Um, oh wait, yeah, actually, the category was words with with double letters. Okay, I don't know why I thought it was become larger. Anyway, uh, let me know how you did. Let's do the mini crossword for April twelfth. Let's go. Blank Klein, first solo female artist inducted into the Country Music Hall of Fame. I don't know who she is, I'm sorry. Show one's feelings. I don't know, heart? No, probably not. Put on the wall as a poster. Hang? Yeah. So, put on the wall, what part of speech is that? Because it's not he put on the wall, maybe I put... Huh. I'm not sure how the part of speech works there. Because oh, I was thinking whether it could be hangs. But I don't think that's the right part of speech, so... Uh, post, but still. Okay, I'm going to have to hold off on that. I'm going to have to get all these downs. Tank, Tanqueray or Bombay Sapphire. Common mixer for eight across. Ooh, I don't know. I'm not very familiar with mixers. Part of a play, an act. Finally something I know. All right, one down. Enthusiastic energy. Um, Zeal doesn't fit. Uh, I don't know. Or... <laughs> Ooh, oomph. <laughs> oomph definitely doesn't fit. I'm trying to think like if there's a word like that. I can't, I can't think of it. Female friend in Spanish. Um, amiga, I guess. The mixer. All right. So still not sure what that would be. Double feature in movies question mark. Mm, so we got a play on word. Double feature in the movies. Oh, this one's going to be tough. I know it. Maybe Amiga helped my crosses. Yeah, I need more help on that one. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's not okay. Um, yep. I mean, it, it could be. It could be yes. It could be yep. I'm gonna fill yes because honestly, I thought this one would end in s, even though it, I don't know the part of speech matches. Um, I still don't know her name. That's gonna be a problem. Um, unless it's just Mary. I could put Mary in. <laughs> um, show one's feelings, and I have to keep in mind that yes might be wrong. But 
I still don't know that one. Put on the wall as a poster. With an I there. Um, oh no. This is not going to be a good performance for me. I, uh, too many things I'm not sure about. Because it's not Hangs. I'm pretty sure Amiga, Amiga is like the one I'm pretty confident about. Because <laughs> Amigo is friend, uh, and so I assume female friend is Amiga. Unless that's trying to trick me, but I pin, like, I, I, the only thing I think is pins, but it's not long enough. Okay, let's look at one down again. Enthusiastic energy. Does it start with M? I don't even know if Mary's right. I don't know if yes is right. Um, doesn't Mary, Mary with two R's means to marry someone. Mary usually with as a name only has one R, so I don't think Mary's right. Oh no. Mixer, Tanqueray or Bombay Sapphire. Gin, I suppose. And then this is tonic. Okay. That's the one thing I know very little about, I managed to figure out. Okay, let's look at these acrosses. Is it pin? It can't be pins. Because what are we putting here? But how does that work? Um, lines? Put on the wall as a poster. You line the wall with posters? I don't know if I would put that in right now. Show one's feelings. Emote. Okay. Is it Maddie Klein? Enthusiastic energy. Z Zen, not Zen is the opposite of that. How about this one? Double feature in movies. It's not Matty, right? Because we can't put another T T. We can't do T T. Um, is it two words? Double feature in movies. What's the play here? I want both of these to be an E, but that would be E tent. Doesn't doesn't seem to work. Matey Klein. <laughs> um. Oh no. What's what do I have wrong here? Or I feel like I need to figure out enthusiastic energy. Like if this was lines, it would have to be something E L. And I've been thinking about that, and I don't see how that works. Is there some simple word I'm just not thinking of here? Or you know, I suppose yes could still be wrong. But I have no reason to think it is wrong. I gotta think about this play on words. A double feature in the movies. This has to be a vowel. Tent. Tint. Is emote wrong? Emote means to show one's feelings. What if it was emoji or something? <laughs> but then, then I would need a J here. That would be bad. Okay, I'm gonna turn on. I'm gonna check the puzzle. Um, see what I have wrong. Okay, it's the S and the E. So maybe it's yep. Like what else would that be? Pin up. Pin up. Enthusiastic energy. Or what is this? Tunt. It's got to be two words, right? Double feature in the movies. What? T-U-N-T? -T? I don't know. <laughs> uh, yep again. <laughs> Enthusiastic energy. Pep. Pep. Is it Patty? No. It's not Patty. Patsy? Stunt. Oh. Let's go over these. Let's go over these words. I want to start with stunt. Double feature in the movies. How is a stunt, even a play on words, how is a stunt a double feature in the movies? Oh, okay, so you have a stunt double. Is that all they're saying? That in movies, this, there you have a stunt double to do your stunts for you? Maybe. Um, pep. I could not think of Pep. Amiga was right. I got the gin and tonic stunt. I even said it might be yep, but I went with yes instead. Unfortunate. Uh, Patsy Klein. Now that I hear Patsy Klein, the name kind of rings a bell a little bit, but I'm certain I'm not very familiar with country music. Emote was correct. Pin up. You pin up a poster. And then act I got. This was the first thing I got and it was right. All right. Well, that was that was a long solve. Um, I'm going to probably be editing that a bit down so you don't have to watch all seven minutes, 30 seconds. But uh, let me know how you did. Let's do strands for April 12th. Today's theme is you can say that again. So like repetition maybe would be my initial thought. Okay, let's let's use our our um, border strategy here, especially corners. Uh, we've got a momo. Okay, so say that again. Is are we talking about like either repeated letters or like something that that repeats like couscous, right? Actually, I might see couscous. How would we couscous? I like how my example was actually in there. Banana. Uh, Nick, Nick, knack, knack, hold on. Can, 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 can't. Wait, 
can can <laughs> this was hard to pass all right can can this is going to be a weird one um i don't know what our spanagram would be we got tutu uh pp pee -pee? <laughs> no uh tt <laughs> it accepted it momo oh this is going to be hard uh nom nom please be nom nom no no nom nom Okay, we don't have another N on the grid, which means the N has to be part of our spanogram. We also know the spanogram goes top to bottom, so that makes sense. But what what would be B? It, you know, I bet we could actually inventory every letter because we need two of each other than in the spanogram. And any letter, yeah, so P doesn't have, oh, I guess there's another P over here. So maybe there is perm perm, pom pom. pom. How would we use both P's? I don't think we can, because this P is going to be next to an E no matter what, and this P isn't. So I think this is part of our spanogram. Oh yeah, re repetition is our spanogram. Okay. So this P's buddy is over here. I like how we can kind of logic this out. Um, it is pom-pom. Okay. And murmur. Wait, murmur. I, I did that wrong. And two more, actually. Interesting. Go go, and am am. <laughs> that was fun. Didn't take very long, but that was fun. Uh, I I liked that I could logic a lot of this out, which really sped things up. Um, let me know if I just absolutely destroyed that, or if it was easy today. <laughs> I I really like to know how you did on this, because uh, I'm pretty proud of my solve. But usually when I'm proud of myself, it means that it was easy and everyone's like, yeah, I got it instantly too. But anyway, let me know how you did.